Hi, I'm Metal. Today we're making metallic chameleon car paint. It's got a clear coat. It's got metal flake glitter stuff. We're going to start the principled BSDF, plug it in. We're going to add a layer weight node, take the facing output, and add that into a color ramp. That color ramp's kind of boring. Let's change it to some fun colors. Make sure to use HSV and run it around to the colors you want. And we're going to turn the metallic all the way up, the specular all the way down, the roughness all the way down, and eh, maybe not quite all the way down, clear coat all the way up. Uh, we're going to add a noise texture. We're going to scale that up to like, say, 100. See what looks good for you. Add a bump map, plug it into the texture coordinate, and add that all into the clear coat normal. Set the distance on the bump map to something like 0. 0.0002. That's what will look good for me. Maybe it will for you, maybe it won't. Take a Voronoi texture, plug it into the object texture coordinate. Set the scale to 500. Take the color, separate RGB, combine RGB, do it for R and G, but not B. Take the B, don't combine it, change it to 1. Great, add a normal map. Yeah, it looks kind of bad. That's kind of a lot. Isn't that a lot? Okay, change the normal map strength down to 0.1. That looks better. Cool, so we've got our chameleon, we've got our metal flake, we've got our clear coat. That's, that's about it. Okay. I added a hue saturation value node, so I can mess with the colors a little easier. I can move the hue around, change where it starts, and the value to make it dark like this. Spooky. Now, we've got some weird square reflections. If those show up in yours and you want to deal with them, this is how we're going to deal with it. If those don't show up with yours or you don't want to deal with them, call it good. Move on. Have a nice day. Thank you for being here. We're going to add a Musgrave texture. Take the color output of the Voronoi texture and plug it into the vector input of the Musgrave texture. I've turned the scale of the Voronoi way down here so I can see what's going on. Take a map range node. Set it up like this for on the output of your Musgrave texture and plug it into the red input. Duplicate it all. And we're going to change the Musgrave textures to 4D from 3D and make sure they have a different seed so, or else they'll be exactly the same. Plug the other one into the green input. Don't touch the blue input. Leave it at 1. And it looks bad still. Oops, it's because the Voronoi texture is still the wrong size. Oh no, it still looks bad. It's all wavy. What do we do? we got to make sure that the scales on all of these three textures right here are the same. So I'm going to add a value node plug it into all of them, and then set it back to 500. Yeah, it looks good. Great, that's our texture. Do you like it? I like it. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, tell me if you like it. Don't tell me if you don't. It'll hurt my feelings. Thanks for coming. I hope you have a great day. I don't know how to do outros. Bye!